My friends, my friends, my friends. Earlier this year we have discussed that our nation was dedicated to Brahma and that if we turned away from God that there would be wrath to come. We are now seeing things visually in many places for we have turned our eyes away from God and have sought other idols out. There are manifestations of things in public now because we have been seeking other idols besides Yeshua, the creator of everyone and everything. King Yeshua, the one that will come one day again as the Lion of Judah to reclaim his throne. We have come to a time now where the prophets of Baal are now rising in mystery Babylon, and it is time for us, the true warriors, to stand up, as we have been stating for years that the true warriors were preparing. Now it is the time for us to rise, and now it is the time for us to become who we need to become. We need to be the hands and feet of God on this earth today, as he begins to pour out his spirits on all flesh and in all mankind. We see in so many other places in Muslim lands, people having dreams of Yeshua, Jesus coming to them and them coming to the cross, them realizing that Muhammad is not their God, realizing the true creator is their God, and that is Yeshua. He is talking to people that are non-believers in our own land of the United States. He is speaking to non-believers everywhere across the entire world and pouring himself out onto other non-believers. What will happen next will be, he will turn and say, you have chosen other gods, little g. Now, Turn to them and have them save you. That is what will come next in this time. He has poured out his spirit on all flesh, and he is doing so. After he does so, he is going to say these things. He, the, there is cycles of things, and we will get into some of those things later on. And the best way that I can even explain it right now is that if you look in your Old Testament and you look at different books in, in all of the books, even in the Bible, New Testament as well, there has been idolatry, and the people turn their ways from God, and then God reacts in wrath and in fury, because he is a jealous God. That jealousy is a two-edged sword. The jealousy is loving, because he loves you, he is jealous for you, just like the song says, he is jealous for me, loves like a hurricane, I'm like a tree. That beautiful jealousy. But then there's also the other wrathful side of his jealousy, which is if you've turned away from him, he is so jealous for you that he will send discipline upon you, which is wrath. He will send it upon this earth to get people to turn to him. Scripture also says, believers, believers, you will not suffer wrath at this time. Prepare so you will not suffer anything. God is showing us many things. Do not look to all of these different sources because if you look at one source, they tell you this. This pastor will tell you this. This prophet will tell you this. This so-called apostle, this so-called prophet says this. Even the so-called pastor will say this. They pull you left, they pull you right, they pull you up, they pull you down. They pull you every which way, and you don't know which way that you're even going right now. We need to get back and seek the true creator of all, the one and only Yeshua, the one that is better known in this world as Jesus. We must turn back to him before the, these times happen next where he says, You have sought other gods, little g. Now turn to them and let them save you. That time is coming. 
please prepare your hearts. Please prepare your homes. Please prepare your children. Warriors, it is our time now. It is our time. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. It, it's, it is our time. Again, we're seeing manifestations of evil things in public places. We know some of these things that have happened. And, of course, a lot of these discussions are getting banned. And we're not going to go into those things. We are just going to explain that further on as the prophets of Baal are rising in mystery Babylon, as we have now dedicated our nation to Brahma, we are going to fall into all of the things that have happened during Baal worship, even though that is really just, we've just dedicated it now in whatever it was, I think it was January 3rd or whatever that we discussed before. But again, the time has come, and this all happened before the Shemitah, and we are in the Shemitah now. Remember, we are in the Shemitah now. We have to be diligently seeking the one and only. We have to have a continuous relationship with him and walk with the Holy Spirit and have the Holy Spirit completely guide us through every day of our life. We're going to have a spiritual battle like no other during these times. And it has come this way in my own home. It has come my way in numerous other fashions. It's come my wife's way in numerous fashions. It comes against my children. There are many different ways and sources of wickedness that come to work on your family in these days. As we have dedicated in onto Baal and those types of spiritual things and completely turned away from Yeshua. We need to turn back before it is too late. And he says, you have sought other gods. Now turn to them and let them save you. Turn back to Yeshua, the one known as Jesus, while you still have breath in your lungs today. Because once that breath leaves, your last breath leaves your body, you will go stand face to face with that Creator, and you will give an account for every word said and every deed, good and bad, that you have done since the day that you were born. So yes, life is a test and a spiritual battle. And that spiritual battle begins at birth and it ends at death. So we must walk daily with Yeshua. And we are in that spiritual battle. And that is why Christ died on the cross to give us the Holy Spirit to over overcome this world and be one with Him while we are here in this world. So when we cross over, and take our last breath, we are one with him when we enter into his presence and give an account of what we have done. We want him to say, well done, faithful servant. Now enter into the joy of your salvation. And with that being said, the Lord wants us to enter into the joy of our salvation on this earth and be him on this earth. May his peace and grace cover you today.